Welcome to Jason's Electronics Repair. I'm Jason, and welcome to my ER. We are finally working on this 3DS again. I I tried to do a port change on it in um, on a stream a couple months ago, and I kept getting the wrong port sent to me. I kept getting the new 3DS ports. This is an old 3DS, um, and this is um, was originally for a customer, and then um, I couldn't get it fixed, so I bought it off of them. And I'm going to um, do some cool stuff to it and um, give it to my son. Still haven't gotten a new battery for it. I need to I need to do that. But I now have the correct port, which is right here. So I'm going to take that out. And we are going to look into getting, some, getting this on here. And then after I get it on, I'll talk about some of the modifications that is going to be done to this for my son to have so as you can see the port is missing but we are going to uh, take this apart here I may oh, screw that so there so let's see here all right I just need to pause the video for a second and I'm back all right Trying to get some parts ordered, but they're not available in the U.S. I'm trying to find um, someone to order the parts out of country and send them to me. So let me just let me just pause one more time. Okay, so we're gonna get this off here. Hopefully, we're gonna get this off. I'm going to try really hard to get this off. There we go. All right, so that off the screws tend to stay in there, so that's fine. Now we have all these screws to remove. And I am going to speed up that process, hopefully. With the electric screwdriver. a little bit tight in there and now we're working this is a extremely overpriced screwdriver electric screwdriver that was given to me as as a gift so I think the battery is about going on it. Maybe not. Yeah, it's about half full. So I think I got all those screws out of there. All right. So now we are going to put this up here very carefully because there are some ribbon cables that I need to watch out for here. Oh wait, nope, there's another screw in here. So, grab that little screw right there. All right, so now this should lift up. The ribbon cables have already been connect disconnected. So it's these little um, FPC tile connectors that just clip on there. And as you can see, we have the area with the port missing. So, now, I could solder it on just like that, but first let's check to make sure it fits. Yes, it does. So, it does fit. So, we're just going to put this on with an iron. So, that's how we're going to install it. So, I'm just going to check the fit here. 
Yeah, that looks like it'll be good. So, we are going to install it with our Harico iron. Um, I'm going to add just a smidge of no clean flux. Actually, I'm going to use Kingbo flux because I'm going to clean the. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be very careful with the amount of flux I use. So I'm going to clean this outside one right here. I'll just add a dab of flux to it. And then I'm going to take my solder paste, which is in this little container right here. I'm going to take my Hacko iron. It has a it has a two millimeter tip on it, which I want the one millimeter. So I'm going to swap that out. It's going to yell at me. So I'm just going to put that on there. So we're going to let this heat back up. And then we're going to dip this in our iron here. Rotate it just a smidge. And I'm going to dip my iron in here. You should be using a fume extractor, but I am not going to set that up for this little job. So I'm going to get me some solder paste on some solder on my iron. I'm going to hold this down. And I'm just going to flow it onto that ground pad. And then I'm going to check my alignment a little bit off there. I can fix that. So I'm going to add a little bit of flux in this area right there. And then I'm going to get me a little bit more solder. I'm going to straighten this up just a smidge right there. The solder. More solder there. It doesn't want to solder real well. There we go. Let's check that. Let's just check that alignment real quick. Make sure this is good here. That appears to be the alignment is good. So Check that alignment, the alignment is good. So now we just need to solder the rest of these. So I'm gonna add a little bit of solder there, 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 or a little bit of flux, I'm sorry. A little bit of flux. And I'm gonna come in here with my iron. Give me some solder on the end of it. Flow these joints here. beef up these ground pads a lot because they can um, they can tear off that's what causes these ports to go bad All right, 
So we'll take a look at this underneath the scope. So we'll see if we need any other. Just get this lined up and focused. Cleaned out. Okay, so it does look a little bit off. If you can see that. So let me see if I can manipulate this any here. Appears to be all soldered. Okay, that appears to be good. So we're going to switch back to this. And we're going to clean this up a little bit. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to get a Camtech wipe here. I'm going to get a little bit of isopropyl alcohol on my brush. I'm going to dab it in there. I don't want to flood this with alcohol. I want to basically dilute the flux and pick it up at the same time. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm diluting the flux with the alcohol on the wipe and I'm picking it up at the same time because I don't want to drip any alcohol down into the um, LCDs. So this is going to get some upgrades and I'll talk to you about that in a different, at the end here, and then we'll do different videos on the different upgrades on this so all right so that's that let's put this back back on here let's first let us connect up our back you out just a smidge here like so now let's get this down here that one looks easier I'm going to do this harder one first. So, there's that one. That one. All right, so now we're going to sit this down. All right, got that down. Put our screws in. I right, put a screw in the wrong spot. More screws definitely has a lot of screws in it. All 
Now this has built-in torque in it, this driver, so I'm able to drive these screws in without over tightening them. Actually it puts just the right amount and it's adjustable on how you can do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my battery out of here. This is a slightly expanded battery, but it should do the job. So to put these down, put these in my hand. I'm going to plug this into my USB power plug here. Let's zoom you all the way out almost. Not all the way out, but I plug you into here. Now I can read the current draw, so right now it's zero. And if I plug this in here like so, it's going to draw no current, but it is plugged in. Not drawing any current. Let's see if the power's on. Huh. Doesn't want to power on. Could be just an extremely dead battery. Let me try the official charger here, just off camera here. And that says it's charging too. Okay, well, I'm just going to let this sit off camera to charge a bit, and then I'll come back if I get it to boot. So I'm going to let this charge up. The light is on. We're just going to let that sit for a bit, and I'll come back to the video. All right, popping back in on this. It is drawing 700 milliamps on the charger now. Um, I don't know if it'll power on, but it is definitely taking a charge now. So it, the power light is red. Let's see what we get here. Drawing one amp of current now. And, and there it goes. So it is working. So... It's charging up, it works. So now it's showing that there is a charger connected and it is working. So this is a working 3DS now and I will now talk to you about what we're gonna do to this uh, unit here. Power it off. Turn it off. We're not gonna charge this because I don't trust that battery. So I'm just gonna unplug it. Plug my charger, and now let's talk about what goodies we have for this 3DS. So, what are we going to do to this? So, this has uh, very little um, cosmetic issues. It has had screen protectors on here on both screens. Um, everything seems to work. The joystick is a little uh, wore out. Um, the buttons seem fine. Um, but what I did was I ordered him a new case for his 3DS. So I ordered this. I showed this off uh, prior. But I'm going to show it because this is an episode here on this 3DS. So this is the case that I've ordered. So it's this nice blue. He loves blue. So it comes with a new stylus. So it has all the pieces in there. So that is one of the upgrades that I got for this um, this unit here is this new case. So he's got a new case coming, um, that blue case. And then I ordered some parts in case there are some issues with the ribbon cables because the ribbon cables are looped through this hinge around and around and they connect to the top and bottom of the board. And there's three of them, and they can be kind of finicky. So I didn't want to take any chances to order the stuff and then not um, be able to have to wait to do the video. So I have more ports. 
I was also going to fix these for anybody that needs them, but I have um, this front facing camera here. That is this unit right here. So I have uh, that. That's its own ribbon cable. Then I have the ribbon cable for the speakers. That is a ribbon cable. The speakers plug into here. And then this is your 3D slider switch also. And then this fishes through there also. Um, that's some switch light stuff. Um, I got some new um, Joy-Con or the trigger bumpers in case I damage those ribbon connectors. That's switch stuff. These are all switch things. What is this? Switch stuff. More ribbons. And then I got the joystick replacements for the 3DS. So I got some ribbon cables in case there's any issues. Um, I also got uh, new screens for the um, units. Grab those. So this is right here. So this is um, the digitizers for the bottom, the bottom digitizers. Let's see if I can fix that washed out one. There we go. So this is the digitizers. So I have some fresh digitizers. Um, I believe there's four of them in there. Um, and then I have the screen assemblies here. So this is the bottom screen, I believe. I think that's the bottom screen. And this may be the bottom screen also. Yeah, that's the Oh, this is the top screen. So this is the top screen. You can see that ribbon cable that is going to fish through there. That, that may be a bottom one, too, because it had a backlight on it. Let's see here. Is, that one has backlight, too. So let's see here. Let's grab the other two. Let's grab the other two and see if these are different. So, and this, this one is the same as that one. And this one is, so here's the two different ones. So this one, it's got the longer ribbon cable. So this is the top screen. And then this one with the shorter one is the bottom screen. So we have new screens, so we'll freshen that up. These are IPS screens, um, so you're going to get a little bit better color on them. They just plug in and hook up as normal. So that is going to be nice. I haven't found a better way to store them. Let me do this one. Is bottom. Yes, this is a uh, screen. Yes. Okay, so we have that. And then this is the digitizers. Digitizers. The old three ds Now. You're probably wondering why I would put this amount of money into a 3DS that is not worth very much. And it is not about um, how much it's going to be worth in the end. It is about um, giving something that is um, customized for my son. And then also we're going to do some custom firmware on it. Uh, nothing illegal, just some, just some basic stuff on there to do some more um, goodies with that. So that is going to do it for now. It's too dark. Wow. There it goes. So that is going to do it for this 3DS charger port. We have that on there. I could have done a little bit better. Probably should have did it under the scope, but you know, I tried to do it without that. Um, I might have to fix it. I have extra ports if I need to, but um, look forward to the video of me customizing this. I'll be doing it in sections. So 
like the, the ribbon cables, the case, all the different things. Um, I'll do it in little bite sized sections. But thank you all for watching, and I hope everyone has a fantastic day.